Hebden Bridge Hebden Bridge is a market town in the upper Calder Valley in West Yorkshire, England. It is 8 miles 13 km west of Halifax and 14 miles 21 km northeast of Rochdale, at the confluence of the River Calder and the Hebden Water. The town is the largest settlement in the civil parish of Hebden Royd. In 2015, the Calder Ward, covering Hebden Bridge, Old Town, and part of Todmorden, had a population of 12,167. The town itself has a population of approximately 4,500. It is known for being an LGBT-friendly town and has been called the lesbian capital of the UK. History The original settlement was the hilltop village of Hepton Stall. Hebden Bridge Hepton Bridge started as a settlement where the Halifax to Burnley Packhorse route dropped into the valley and crossed the river Hebden where the old bridge from which it gets its name stands. The name Hebden comes from the Anglo-Saxon Heopadenu, Bramble or possibly Wild Rose Valley. Steep hills with fast-flowing streams and access to major wool markets meant that Hebden Bridge was ideal for water-powered weaving mills, and the town developed during the 19th and 20th centuries. At one time, Hebden was known as Trouser Town because of the large amount of clothing manufacturing. Watercolor artist Thomas Frederick Worrell, who lived in nearby Peckett Well, depicted the mills in around 1900. Drainage of the marshland, which covered much of the upper Calder Valley before the Industrial Revolution, enabled construction of the road which runs through the valley. Before it was built, travel was only possible via the ancient packhorse route, which ran along the hilltop, dropping into the valleys wherever necessary. The wool trade was served by the Rochdale Canal running from Sorby Bridge to Manchester, and the Manchester and Leeds Railway later, the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway running from Leeds to Manchester and Burnley. Hebden Bridge also grew to include a picture house seating 500 and offices for Hebden Bridge Urban District Council. Hebden Bridge has no swimming pool, although for some years there was a small training pool for children in the Adult Education Center on Pitt Street. Hebden Bridge had its own cooperative society, but during the 1960s it was defrauded and went bankrupt. The old co-op building became a hotel and was later converted into flats. The co-op returned in the 1980s with a supermarket on Market Street on the site of an old mill. During the Second World War, Hebden Bridge was designated a reception area and took in evacuees from industrial cities. During the 1970s and 1980s, the town saw an influx of artists, writers, photographers, musicians, alternative practitioners, teachers, green and new age activists, and more recently, wealthier UP types. This in turn saw a boom in tourism to the area. During the 1990s, Hebden Bridge became a dormitory town. Due to its proximity to major towns and cities both sides of the Pennines and its excellent rail links to Manchester, Bradford and Leeds. On 6 July 2003, Hebden Bridge was granted fair trade zone status. On 6 July 2014, Stage 2 of the 2014 Tour de France, from York to Sheffield, passed through the town. Governance At a district level, Hebden Bridge Urban District was established in 1894. In 1937, the council merged with Mithelroyd Urban District to become Hebdenroyd Urban District. At a county level, Hebden Bridge was administered as part of the West Riding of Yorkshire. These were abolished as part of the reforms introduced in the Local Government Act 1972. They were replaced with West Yorkshire Metropolitan County, Calderdale Metropolitan Borough and Hebden Roy Town Civil Parish. From a legal point of view, the town council is a parish council. Recently, it has attracted praise for its commitment to eco-friendly policies, following the example of Modbury in effectively banning all plastic shopping bags, thus becoming the largest community in Europe to do so. The ban is not legally enforceable, but rather a voluntary agreement between local shop owners and the community at large. Hebden Bridge Town Hall and adjoining fire station is a Grade Roman II listed building, built in 1898. 
The building was transferred from Calderdale Metropolitan Borough Council to Hebden Bridge Community Association on a 40-year lease now extended to 125 years on 1 April 2010, along with funds for basic maintenance work. Substantial volunteer time was put into renovation works and fundraising to secure the building's future. The three pounds of seven pence million raised was used to create a small enterprise center and new community facilities on land adjacent. More than 450 local people signed up as friends of the town hall and became able to vote for the trustees. Geography, geography, geography. Hebden Bridge lies close to the Pennine Way in Hardcastle Crags and is popular for outdoor pursuits such as walking, climbing, and cycling. It lies on the Rochdale Canal, a through route across the Pennines. The town is on the route of the Calderdale Way, a circular walk of about 50 miles 80 km around the hills and valleys of Calderdale, and it is connected with the Pennine Way through the Hebden Bridge Loop. Flooding the town's location in the valley causes problems, with flooding particularly between Hebden Water and the Cinnamon New Road, Brearley Fields in Mithelmoid, and further up the valley, at Callies Bridge by the Sewage Works and the old Aquaspersions factory. Flooding at Callies Bridge is so frequent that the level of the river Calder has been lowered and special perforated curbstones fitted so that water can drain back into the river. Freely on a flood plain contains the playing fields for Calder High School and local football, rugby league and cricket teams. Hebden Bridge suffered two devastating floods in the summer of 2012, and again on Boxing Day 2015, Todd Morden, Mithelroyd, Sowerby Bridge and York were also affected, with houses, pubs, shops and community centers suffering damage to property. The extent of the Hebden Bridge flooding was shown in drone videos of the flooded areas, the most severe flooding occurring in Hebden Bridge town center. Demography Hebden Bridge is a popular place to live. However, space is limited due to the steep valleys and lack of flat land. In the past, this led to upstairs downstairs houses known as over and under dwellings cf the back-to-back -back houses in nearby industrial cities. These were houses built in terraces with four or five stories. The upper stories face uphill while the lower ones face downhill with their back wall against the hillside. The bottom two stories would be one house, while the upper two three stories would be another. This also led to unusual legal arrangements, such as the flying freehold, where the shared floor slash ceiling is wholly owned by the underdwelling. Population changes in the 1990s led to a demand for more houses. This has proved to be extremely controversial for a number of reasons. The limited availability of houses has meant that prices have risen sharply. For example, a house valued at £54,000 in 1998 was valued at nearly £150,000 in 2004. Demand for new houses is also a contentious issue as many of the sites for proposed development are areas such as fields or woodland that some local residents feel should be left as they are. Hebden Bridge has attracted artists and has developed a small New Age community. It became attractive in the 1980s and 1990s to lesbians as a place of mutual support to bring up children. As of 2004, Hebden Bridge had the highest number of lesbians per head in the UK. In April 2005, Hebden Bridge was named the fourth corpiest place in the world by High Life, the British Airways flight magazine, and was described as modern and stylish in an unconventional and stylish way. The town was documented in the 2009 film Shed Your Tears and Walk Away, which made controversial claims about the levels of drug and alcohol abuse in the town, and consequent deaths among young people. Economy As of 2017, the weekly market has moved to Lee's Yard adjoining the pedestrian center of St. George Square, and the market days have been increased from two and a half to four full weekly market days, Thursdays to Sundays. Walkley's Clog Mill is one of the country's leading clog manufacturers. It moved from its original home at Fallingroyd to a site on Midgley Road in Mithelroyd. Acre Mill was an asbestos factory in the hilltop settlement of Old Town, 
owned by Cape Insulation Limited. It was opened in 1939 to meet the demand for gas mask filters made from blue asbestos during the Second World War and diversified into the production of other asbestos products, including rope, pipe lagging, and textile, after the war. In 1970, the company closed the mill and moved to Westmoreland. The mill was the subject of a 1971 World in Action investigation entitled The Dust at Acre Mill, which revealed how the factory broke the law regarding asbestos dust control between 1940-1970. By 1979, 12% of a total of 2,200 former employees had asbestos-related disease. The mill was demolished in 1979. Cape Insulation also operated a second factory at Hanging Groyd Mill. Hebden Bridge has built a reputation for great little shops and has an unusually high density of independent shops for a UK town of its size with more than 20 cafes and tea rooms and about 20 pubs, micro pubs and restaurants. In a national survey by the New Economics Foundation in 2010, Hebden Bridge was ranked sixth on a diversity scale and was praised for its independent shops and unique shopping experience. The Fox and Goose West Yorkshire's first cooperative pub is owned by 262 residents of Hebden Bridge. It was established in March 2014. In February 2016, Hebden Bridge won as the best small outdoor market in the Great British Market Awards run by the National Association of British Market Authorities, NADMA. In December 2016, Hebden Bridge won the Great British High Street Award in the Small Market Town category, after most shops, cafes and businesses had bounced back better and more flood-resilient than before the Boxing Day floods 2015. Hebden Bridge also won a second award as the People's Choice. Culture The Midsummer Hebden Bridge Handmade Parade is a vivid, non-commercial variation on the small town parade. Hebden Bridge is known as the lesbian capital of the UK. The Stubbing Wharf is an 18th century and located alongside the Rochdale Canal, in which the poet Ted Hughes set his poem Stubbing Wharf. Hughes was born in neighboring Mithelmroyd, and his former home Lumbank on the outskirts of Hebden Bridge is run as a creative writing center by the Arvon Trust. Sylvia Plath is buried here in Heptonstall, in the secondary graveyard of St. Thomas, the Apostle Church. The band The Dream Academy filmed the first video for their hit single Life in a northern town in Hebden Bridge in 1984. The BBC One crime drama series Happy Valley, written by Halifax-born Sally Wainwright, broadcast in 2014, was filmed and set in and around the town. Local landmarks, such as the graveyard at St. Thomas, the Apostle Church and the landscapes provided a backdrop to the narrative. The show received critical acclaim and was expected to lead to a noticeable increase in local tourism. A second series was filmed in 2015 and broadcast during 2016. In 2020, Steve Coogan's from the Oast House podcast featured Coogan's character Alan Partridge stating that his daughter Denise lived in Hebden Bridge, which Partridge says explains her reluctance to have children. Music the Trades Club is a nationally recognized music venue and socialist members club. In the 1980s and 90s, the club became a renowned world music destination for touring bands from Africa and elsewhere, including Thomas Mapfumo, Ali Farkatur, and John Chibajur. Heavenly Recordings have a close association with the Trades Club and celebrated their 25th birthday with a heavenly weekend in Hebden a four-day festival at the Trades Club, featuring performances from many of the artists on their roster and film screenings from Heavenly Films. The event was given its own catalog number, HVN 300. Until 2014, the town hosted the Hebden Bridge Blues Festival during the Spring Bank holiday at the end of May. Established in 2011, the festival was voted the best British blues festival in the 2012 and 2013 British Blues Awards. The indie band Bakshid were formed in Hebden Bridge in 1984, originally as the Amazing Roy North Penis Band. In 2017, 
The Hebden Bridge Community Association received the Queen's Award for Voluntary Service, the MBE for Voluntary Groups. Transport Hebden Bridge Railway Station lies on the Calder Valley Line between Manchester, Victoria, and Leeds City. It is served by frequent rail services to towns and cities in Lancashire, Greater Manchester, as well as West and North Yorkshire, including Leeds, Blackpool North, York, Manchester, Victoria, and Tom Morden. There are also some infrequent services to Dewsbury via Brighouse. The station is still in the original Lancashire and Yorkshire railway colours, decorated with hanging baskets, original signage, and luggage trolleys. Bus services in the town are operated by three companies. First West Yorkshire operate the 12-minute frequency 592 service between Halifax and Todmorden, with services extending to Burnley 592 and Rochdale 590 in evenings and at weekends. Keithley Bus Company connect Hebden Bridge with Haworth, Oxenhope and Keithley with its hourly broad bus service. The Hebden Bridger is a local bus network operated by TLC Travel that operates across seven services to local towns and hilltop villages. TLC Travel also operate the hourly 900 and 901 services between Hebden Bridge and Huddersfield. Leeds Bradford is the nearest airport, accessible by bus and train. Notable people John Richardson, comedian lives in Hebden Bridge with his wife Lucy Beaumont, Kirk Barker, actor, grew up in Hebden Bridge and was at school there. Horatio Clare, the Welsh-British author known for travel, memoir, nature, and children's books, lives in the town. Edward Cronshaw, sculptor, began his career while living at Hebden Bridge. Bernard Ingham, chief press secretary to Margaret Thatcher, was educated at Hebden Bridge Grammar School. Paul Lane, actor with roles including Kylie Platt of Carnation Street, remains a resident of the town and also runs a drama school there. Amy Littrott, author of The Outrun, lives in Hebden Bridge. Benjamin Myers, author and journalist, is a resident. Martin Parr, photographer, lived in Hebden Bridge, c. 1975-80. Lindsay Jo Reimer, a 13-year-old girl from the town, went missing in 1994. Her body was found in the Rochdale Canal the following year. Ed Sheeran, singer-slash-songwriter, spent his early childhood in Hebden Bridge. Thomas Frederick Worrall, blacksmith and watercolor artist, lived in Peckett Well.